Hello everyone, it's Asperin here again. Um, we're going to talk about Scumbug. And this one right here holding my hand is very valuable for the collection. So if you guys want to call it the extra points for your Turtles collection, get one of this. Um, the blue boot maybe costs a little bit here and there, but if it's a black one like this one, there's a whole different story behind it. So, I um, also want to say thank you for the 100 review, for your pictures, videos, your comments. Um, if you have any more pictures, please send it to my uh, email. I'll put them on the next song reviews. So, um, let's talk about this, and check it out! That's something Pierce. Ow! Anyways. Yeah, it hurts. Oh, every time I keep bumping into things, it gets worse. So, anyways. Scumbug. <laughs> Alright, scumbug. Here he is. Let's do his looks, his little eyes popping out, his jaw moves. Going down to his ripped shirt, his ripped tie, with bugs crawling all over him. As you may see, there's supposed to be another hand right there. That's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong. See that? I don't know what's going on with that, they never painted it. For the hand thing, it just does a whole twist human look right here. And this kind of hand or arm just does that, just does not move. And now your routine the up and down arm thing and the legs kicks back and forth. And of course the black boot. There's his feet. However, 1990 Marga Studio Playmates Toys. So, this one right here is very, very, very valuable. I only got it for $5. I shall explain to you, right after I've done show this, the, how he looks. I've got cockroaches crawling all over him. They call me Scum Dog. Sorry. Alright, the original making, um, they painted with the black boot to the blue boot. Um, uh, of course the black one's going to be really expensive, believe it or not. The blue one, it's good price, but it's good to have two different versions. Um, like I've been showing all the way through my videos from 2009. Um, I'm going to make a part two, because I have the blue one at home, and I need to have my dad send it to this place. Sorry, cell phone. And, um, here's a list that I found through internet all over that the 1990s, which that's the only ones, if they're loose for the blue boots, it's going to be 18. Um, the black going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, if there is a blue boot still in a box, it's going to be like around the, tw you know, 20s, $20, maybe 25 Well, with the black boot, I found one for $200. And I keep finding them over and over. So they're all $200, $200 and I saw like 115 and 150 So the black boot is expensive. You got your hands on a black boot. Congratulations. You're in a high level on this one. So get your hands on a black boot, people. If you find a blue one only, get it so you got two different versions of it. You have this, protect it. Put it somewhere that won't break or a kid get into it, put it in his mouth or whatever. So, um, let me repeat it one more time. Get your hands on a black boot scumbug. <clears throat> it's going to be expensive, probably, but like I said, look around. There goes my cell phone again. And, um, like I said, I got this for five bucks. I couldn't believe it. I squealed like a little girl. But, like I said, it's okay to have the blue one. Keep it for you have two different versions. Here's uh, the, the most expensive one, like I said, the black boot. 
and um, I can't say no to it, you know. Um, I have a list on my Facebook and a list on my MySpace of which one is worth a lot of money, so how you can get it for cheap or whatever. Um, so, yeah, get your hands. Get your hands on a black boot. Till next time, everyone. Take care and happy hunting, everyone. And remember, black boot. It's eBay time, but we're going to do something a little bit different, okay, people? <coughs> Excuse me. I want to do something different. Something I need to warn you collectors about what you shouldn't be doing. Okay, this is the guy, as we may see, Casey Jones. Good price. You know, whatever. And, yeah. But however, this is not a good sign for collectors. See that yellow bubble flicker thing? That's what happens when you smoke around your toy collection. It fades the color and it brings this freaking disgusting yellow brownish color inside the bubble. This will be not worth anything. There goes my uh, cell phone again. But people, seriously, let me see what the back looks like. Not cool. Seriously, people? Stop smoking around your toy collections. I don't care what you're collecting. This damage your toys. Also damage the bubbles. So now you know what it looks like. So please, don't smoke. Smoke somewhere away from, you know, pr away from the toys. Just go outside. Or go somewhere other room. It's where they won't come out like this. <laughs>